I thank the gentleman. Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, I'd like to pursue an energy agenda that maybe makes sense for America, a AAA strategy of energy to reach self-sustainable and secure America's economic future. Well, we all agree on an all the, all the above strategy. Let's not turn away from an all below strategy that makes sense for America, truly unique and makes us totally energy self-sufficient. Energy below that is abundant, accessible, and affordable. Centuries worth of coal, oil, and natural gas that lie just below our surface. Energy that makes America the energy envy of the world and creates thousands of jobs. Not just Republican jobs or Democrat jobs, but red, white, and blue jobs. Jobs that truly make us energy self-sufficient. Jobs that let us rebuild our families, our towns, our churches, our schools, and make us strong again in the world, rebuild our national security. Now, as we speak here tonight, and as the gentleman just referenced, our president is in Paris, kicking off the Paris Protocol. And again, he promises to reshape America's future through upside-down policy that's cost will be beyond astronomical, according to Bill Gates. This is another example of an out-of-control executive who's placed his legacy above the wants and needs and the safety and security of the American people, the people he serves. It's not the other way around. The Paris Protocol must be a treaty. It cannot be another executive agreement. And let all those who participate in the Paris Protocol know that without the advice and consent of America's Senate, the hard-working American uh, taxpayers' monies will not be squandered on an ill-fated agenda that the President lays forward. He sets timetables and targets, targets that are in direct defiance of America's future. They're in direct defiance of America's well-being that are in direct defiance of America's economic recovery. This is another example of a president who's not only out of touch, he's out of control. He's lost his vision of what made America great and what would keep America strong as the future goes on, about American jobs and about American self-sufficiency when it comes to energy. These are truly renewable sources of energy. And what do I mean by renewable? They renew our economy. They renew our towns, our communities, our families, and our future. This is the renewable energy that America needs. This is the, Amer this is the energy that America has. And this is the energy that America needs to make the most of. That's why myself and Senator Mike Lee have introduced a concurrent resolution, one that says no monies, no monies that come out of the pockets of hardworking American taxpayers will be squandered on this agenda, unless it comes with the advice and consent of the Senate, there is no agreement, there are no monies, there is no way this president can, can promise other countries that these dollars will be coming. And with that, I yield back and I thank the gentleman on a very timely issue and an issue that we must win if we are to maintain our national security. I thank the, my colleague for yielding back and I thank you very much for your passion on this issue. You understand it as a former business owner, current business owner, actually, uh, you understand how important this is. If I could. Yes, sir, I, I yield. You and I don't just talk this, we walk it. We've actually gone into the mines with these people. You and I have seen communities that have been shut down, not just mines that have been shut down, communities that have been shut down, families that have been shattered now and scattered in this country, people that have lost jobs that were generational jobs. Coal, America's workhorse, has, been, has had its back turned on by this president. We must reclaim it. Thank Absolutely. You, sir.